Hello, Bruce Sullivan with Sullivan Roof Cleaning to talk about our Cedar Shake Roof Cleaning Service. As you can see in these pictures we have here, uh, this is a roof that I actually cleaned. And as you can see here, I actually put my hat in here so you could see that it's me. And as you can see in this before picture, before we actually cleaned it, uh, we've got saplings growing out of it. And at first glance, if you look at this roof, you would think that there's no way you could save it. Of course, here's the after picture. And as you can see, their shakes are actually in pretty good shape. They just needed to be cleaned. The particular homeowner that owned this particular roof uh, was told by a roofer, or actually a couple roofers, that he had come over that there's no way you can save it. It had to be replaced. Unfortunately, today, a lot of the roofers don't understand cedar shake roofs and uh, how they function. And of course, roofers want to put a new roof on in any way. So in any event, I did inspect the roof and I determined that it could be saved. And as you can see in the after picture over here, it did clean up pretty nice. So what I want to do is take a little time for all of you homeowners that have cedar shake roofs and you see this particular situation or moss on your roof or lichen or fungi or whatever it is, that you don't have to replace your roof. It can be cleaned. In this particular roof here, there's a lot of tree cover around this home and that's why you have all the moss because of the moisture and shade and everything. It's a, a, a good environment for it to grow. Uh, it, but all you really need to do is have these cleaned and if you have them clean and maintain them They'll last a very very long time cedar shakes on their own will not decay It takes moisture in these types of infestations and over time they would rot these out But in this particular case we was able to save this roof What I'm going to do now is take a, a few minutes in this video and it's about going to be about five minutes long and I'm going to show you uh, another roof uh, and some video that uh, the before we cleaned it and after we cleaned it. So I'll take a few minutes here and show this to you and then I'll end up. So uh, here we go. Hello, Bruce back. I told you I'd show you some video. I'm going to play some video here in a second and show you uh, how we can remove all this moss. And then down in here you can see this lichen, these little white specks and then there's brown rot fungi and mildew and everything so let's play the video as you can see this i've already sprayed this particular section it's actually killing the moss as you can see it's turning white it's actually dying and it's killing all the lichen and brown rot fungi over here is the area i haven't sprayed yet and there's the uh, moss and again i'm uh, moving along here on a ladder so bear with me <laughs> because uh, we do everything from a ladder we don't walk on a roof when we clean them that's uh, part of the process but as you can see our solution is killing everything here in this particular uh, video I'm showing you over here now is an area I've already cleaned and that's what it looks like it's still wet but uh, as you can see we removed all the moss mold mildew lichen and fungi from this roof and they're actually looking pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's all completed and that's going to be here in the next video so here we go okay here's a video I'm going to show of the after before I do uh, start this video I do want to explain that the cleaning solution we use I develop myself it's non-toxic and non-caustic it won't hurt you your pets landscaping children or anything else also that we do not walk on a roof I clean every roof from a ladder and we do not use a pressure washer or power washer which you should never do I'm gonna go ahead and play this uh, video here to show you the after as you can see in this after that we got all that moss mildew lichen fungi off of this roof uh, again we do everything from a ladder uh, we spray with a 12 volt pump system to put our proprietary solution on and we rinse it with a garden hose pressure never use a pressure washer or power washer on a wood roof you should never do that but as you can see from these uh, uh, after video here that this roof cleaned up really nice the integrity looks good so for all of you homeowners that have a cedar shake roof and you have the moss mildew lichen fungi and everything uh, we can remove that and we can restore these uh, shingles back to their uh, original condition and extend the lifespan of these uh, shakes for many more years to come uh, I'm going to take a, another minute here at the end of this video after you see the results that we have here and explain just a little bit more about the process and what we can do to help extend the life of your roof with the process that we use. So uh, stand by and uh, I'll go ahead and end up and show you uh, how to get a hold of us and reach us for our service. 
Well, as you can see from the video that I just showed you and also from these pictures here that we have, that for all of you cedar shake homeowners, if you have moss, mold, mildew, lichen, fungi, even saplings growing out of your roof, it doesn't mean you have to replace your cedar shake roof. You can extend the life of these roofs for many years if you just maintain them. And the cost of maintaining them for many people want to know, well, what would it cost to do something like this? In most cases, it's about 5% of the replacement cost. Uh, also, when we come out to uh, clean up and uh, extend the life of your cedar shake roof, I'm the cleaner that's going to actually clean the roof. We don't have crews that come out. We're a small service provider. This is a process that I developed myself over the years. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cedar shake roofs uh, throughout the Midwest. We primarily serve the all of Iowa. We go into Omaha, out to Lincoln, Nebraska. We go down to Kansas City. Uh, covering Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri, about a 75 mile radius of each. So any of you that would like to have a cedar shake roof and would like to get a hold of us and get an estimate of what it would cost to have your cedar shake roof clean and restored and extend the life of it, here you can go to our website. This is our website where on the website there's another video that shows me cleaning another roof. I'm actually up there cleaning it and I'll be talking to you while I'm cleaning it. It's on the home page. You just click on the video and you'll see me actually cleaning up a roof and what that looks like. If you'd like to contact me by email, this is our email address. You can contact us and with any questions or concerns you have and also you can call or text me at this number and I'd be more than glad to get a hold of you. So for all of you that do have a cedar shake roof and you see these infestations and stuff on your roof and you're thinking oh my god I'm gonna have to replace this roof and and it's expensive no matter even if you don't put a cedar shake shingle roof back on it it's still very expensive to replace a roof when in reality a lot of times with these wood roofs you don't have to replace them as you can see in this particular roof here you know you would swear that there's no way you could clean this roof up as it looks right here but you can see the results it speaks for itself so go ahead and uh, go to our website and take a little time and do the research the, again there's a video on the home page there's a video at the top of the website uh, page and there's also a customer review page there's before and after pictures uh, we'd be more than glad to give you an estimate and uh, come out and clean up your cedar shake roof and extend the life of it. Normally, anywhere from every 7 to 10 years, you should clean a cedar shake roof. And if you do so, they'll last for decades, not years, but decades. So that's Bruce Sullivan with Sullivan Roof Cleaning, based out of Des Moines, Iowa, serving all of Iowa over into uh, as far as Lincoln, Nebraska, and south down into the Kansas City area, about a 75 mile radius. Uh, thank you. I hope this has been educational and giving you some insight on how you can maintain your cedar shake roof. So thank you and look forward to talking to you soon. Have a nice day.